Buon pomeriggio, andiamo avanti. Alla fine ho deciso, guardando un po' le quest, quelle che mi mancano, sono tutte quest tipo o corte o comunque che ti fanno esplorare i punti di interesse, quindi direi che ne faccio un paio di quelle che ho già sbloccato i contratti e poi andiamo a finirlo perché vorrei cambiare altro tra l'altro trovate trovato sconto a 10 euro e va nice dead ieri sera vorrei provare anche quello insieme a Mortal Suave o magari quindi ah, ecco che mi sa so che l'ha scaricato e va nice dead effettivamente ci metteva un attimino è un rogue light quindi non occupa effettivamente ci ho messo meno di un minuto a vedere niente no devo vedere dopo ah oh, c'è un indicatore anche questa qua sono tutte queste fatte apposta per farti fare i punti di Facciamo questa, giusto che ci sono. Andrea Gadrone, questa era mi sa Cazzo era questo verso Allora Oh No che voglio cambiare veramente Voglio finire se il sì, non ho mai finito Per vedere come finisce la trama Però tolto quello Anche un po' basta devo dire sono vicino quindi poi vabbè ho comprato ma escono nei prossimi giorni altri giochi vabbè col plus extra ok quelli quando escono però poi c'è anche l'ice of p jedi survivor è anche un po basta veramente voglio chiudere studio il sì le secondarie di studio del sono strutturate tipo vai qua e fine, fai questo libera sta area quindi sono strutturate apposta per farti esplorare i punti di interesse più che altro anche basta tanto sono a livello ci arrivo livellato proprio per la fine del DLC c'era su sto isoletto c'è comunque la terza volta che gioco The Witcher è anche una certa mi sono un po' stufato Cosa c'era? Ah, lui. Just like. 
Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I do. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A soul most wondrous lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know. For I know who you are. You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. You are a man of honor, as many can attest. Of humble means yourself, you show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason legends, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. I mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Any time. Then draw your blade. of wielding the blade. Certainly. The hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you receive the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Quasi a sto punto. Anche quella è un'impresa notevole, è una quest in cui devi andare a, a liberare dei posti dei banditi, quindi mo, tutte queste che ti mandano i punti di interesse e basta. domani lo chiudiamo The Witcher
evidences to see which are. abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Signs of a fight. Around. Still, paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Man. Bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Who exactly are you? <laughs> Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a Bob Malarkey. To be sure, but... Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with. especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in, drawn her to the caravan. Strange, these burn marks. Beast venom make them? Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two cents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protective. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Sense 
perceptible again. Just as I expected, second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Wandered off somewheres, we got to lure it back. And who might you be? A witcher. About to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Quinfred, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia, I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. But... Ah, you're that witcher. I, Bo. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk it, could use another pair of hands. Feed what we've gotten from the guild, we'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your caste? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I... Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah, uh, no scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but, you made some mention of coin. Adesso cambia destinazione, magari lo salvo. And the word once given. Your share, would ya? <laughs> Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, Witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. Godspeed, boys. You spared your cast. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out of this area. That I shall do. Master, you must accept more, be it. Don't need any more. Rather you paid it out to the families of your pet's victims. Noble of you, master. I shall take the advice to heart. Sarebbe stato curioso di vederlo un po' il basilisco. Sense to threat. Likely to return eventually though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I know. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your Sure, I hope not. Take care. Altro lavoro per me se no. che mi sta spostando tra l'altro dai finiamo i contratti eh bravo digli dai fifona del cazzo
manca un contratto però in teoria Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a pa- A pair of cest of what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to ca- Well, that, uh... Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do sublime. Before coming here, I dispatch requests to several look good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let me record what we all tomorrow more to Mali. Seems I got the map. So I'll lead. A job is like a lady. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. Uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wild one. Preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something super. You? Map says there should be players around here, not something. Hunting, panting. I'm not the least for me getting a good fist to move with a bear. Move on. che non sto messo proprio bene Pretty broad interests for a man of this. I suppose I 
dabble. Share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Ma che, perché proprio le scolopandre tu vuoi vedere? Di qua mi sa. Questo non credo se le salve da una trappola sono innocue eh Excellent day for capturing moments. Thank you. Truly magnificent that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendor. What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself. I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher Mad. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Splendid. Consider me. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering why peacocks? Mine. My daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, Questa spada fa un male cane eh, Forse ho fatto bene a cambiare Forse anche un'altra armatura non guasterebbe Allora 
Cos'è che è quell'abilità speciale di sta spada? Non sto capendo perché ce n'ha una, mi sa. Un colpo genera cariche. Ah, ok. Uh, questa spada si sì, casa grave. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear count. Seems the job. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I've No need to thank me. Gladly have more contracts like this. Counts a wonder, ain't he? It's a sad injustice, the misfortune that's touched the family. The misfortune? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would always take her out on trips. She <coughs> would be too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you... I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. <laughs> well, thanks. I've one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends. My coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at... I'll be by. See you. Both male and female Vauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The beast preferred to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. Se ho fatto un selfie. Ah, Gero, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. Have a smoke? Yeah, you are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Nice meeting you. So long now. Ma non so se brutto. Sicuro che non sei pure tu da, per un contratto, però la preda. Cattivella questa, ma vabbè. Era un po' grottesco, diciamo.
cazzo però sono morto come un deficiente proprio They say a great deal about the Questo qual era di contratto? Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Mm, by napping outside the cave for a fortnight? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I... I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor! Cosa è un corruttore adesso? Eh, qua dice sempre la stessa cosa. Mm. Che devo fare? Usa i sensi da Witcher? Eh sì, ah, aspetta.
inventory must Let's have take taken them from its victims. It. Seems to be off somewhere, probably feeding. Need to lure it. Done. Very well. To work then! Vabbè, in teoria facendo così dovrebbe... Ok. E che cazzo sta pianta gigante di merda? Pensavo morisse, dovevo la paura. Di la verità non vuoi tornare da lei? Take my advice, grab the damned head and cut the shit. I beg your pardon. That I wish to make my beloved's name known the world over to bring her glory. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work. They probably just knocked it out for you. Find some other way to prove your valor. The only thing you've proven so far is that you're a fool. You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground. Or a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. This time, time I have returned home. Ooh. 
Sì. No, sono un buccio da cavallo, ma esagerati. Adesso una quest dovrebbe essere in teoria, c'è cioè un contratto che mi rimane. No, aspetta, qua tipo. Ah sì, c'è una casetta infatti. E... Dall'emporio. Questo che è quello del cavallo parlante, tipo, mi sa, sto contratto. Faster. Comunque il cielo qua in Blood and Wine, madonna se glitcha. Quindi una boss fight che mi ricordo così è in una caccia al tesoro, ad esempio, non è neanche qua. Cioè non è un contratto. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, jumper tub, dancing do that? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of Grey Top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Grey Top produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. Better that than to know what is there, but not know where. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. Ma non 
to the window. Shutters closed tight. Need to check the other side, see if the trail continues. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Trail of blood starts at the pillow, ends here. Medallion's still vibrating. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Witcher. Most likely some kind of wraiths tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak? Spend lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and leeches here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The Great Hawk. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. All right. High time we tried this. Sources. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. <laughs> Kinda hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants of small animals. We gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. Otherworldly. 
We gotta follow them. Dove vedo che non le vedo? Dead moths. Often mean there phantoms nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh seriously? No, bella. Now I know what we're up against. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. No. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. It's getting away! Come on, Witcher, hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! <laughs> Bellissima sta quest. <coughs> There's the Umbra! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gonna save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt? We gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? No, se tu rutilia che sei scarsa, scarso anzi vista la voce. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey pal, why the long face? <laughs> Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Quanto deve correre? Ma dai! Ma dai! Eh, guarda, cioè, ti percula qua in sta quest. Eh, se te non ti incastri ovunque... No, prima che finisce magari l'effetto della cosa. Ma voglio esaminarla, non voglio questa spada. Oh, esamina, ecco. Marcello Ferrici, Knight. Died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. 
Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. Geralt! It's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I come and beg her for clemency. Beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! The monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. You must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I have flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker, and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. Pinastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me lose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Oh, the regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. H help me. Noble mare, forgive me my sin. Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. That's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel... Incredible! Such relief, such lightness! Ooh. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost tree from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. Guarda che mi finisce l'effetto la pozione. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped, dark cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. I'm well away of Witcher's work for hire. For pay. But I've no coin, alas. I can offer only this. Mm, potatoes. <laughs> 60 patate. <laughs> Uh, 
departure. Mostly Roach is doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path, right to the nearest notice board, rustle up another contract? Exactly. Oh, the effects of the bruise waning, I can feel it. E per fortuna però, perché dopo una missione basta, quella che parla. Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. I cavalli sono animali intelligenti, decolla finita la quest ovviamente. Uh, di livello 48, allora rischio tante di quelle botte. Arrivo. Andiamo avanti con la trama del DLC direi. Questa spada comunque non ha niente male. Perché Lupo Mannaro ci aveva addosso una notifica di, di sfratto? Questa spada qua si sì, è effettivamente meglio delle, di quelle che avevo da Witch. Guarda com'è shot. Di qua forse. Guarda come muoio. Ah oh, no. Ma che schifo. Oh, a parte che non te vedo. Oh, piano. pure voi porca miseria ho fatto in cazzo la mia la mamma
No. Ma stai mettendo tutti tranne quello. Mm. Cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlove wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Mm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. Tell me this. Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out, but Bruxa had taken an interest in it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kobinaris' theory of tissue memory retention. Ah, I read about it in Cameo Glittera. There's a copy of Kermoran, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kobinaris never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it. Just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Kobinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Dedloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Dedloff's hideout. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen, and the ornamentation. It comes from our home, where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here, guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans of the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I, in turn, gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guessed correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison, to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's mamoon glands, the closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to smooth this out ourselves, then we need to summon some help.
Dante se scappa tipo mano della famiglia Adams common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area. And I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect to your skills, my friend. It will take them some time nonetheless. So, perhaps you care for a snicker of mandrake. Say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? Everyone's got some secret. I agree wholeheartedly. I also believe it wise at times to share one's secrets, unburden oneself to those one can trust. This your sophisticated way of asking me if I trust you? I prefer almost always to ask you directly. It seems a test of intelligence, one you just passed. Hmm. Maybe you should go first, reveal one of your secrets. After all, the vampires lead very interesting lives. Anything in particular interest you? Give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? Let's see, Regis. Be anything else ever tried see so you're determined to get an answer to find out if I like being a witcher just refuse to ask directly as always I like being on the path I like picking up a lead a trail I like the tension right before a fight and nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast I haven't gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah, not something I think about much, but I like being a witcher. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. Absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses. Appreciate the compliment. Got something for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the whites survived entirely unmolested. 
Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... Spoons. Spoons. Spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or well, the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its brews. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were gonna make this decoction. They require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. Mi sa che l'ho intravisto. Foglet non mi erano mancati proprio per niente. Somebody's clearly 
they obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. The pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Obsessed, real collector, thoroughbred. Actually, does seem like a white slayer. A bit atypical, but still. The cauldron should be somewhere around here. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Another spoon. Just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Cauldron I was looking for. White's not particularly tidy. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here. Definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some blue. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. All'armadio giusto. Anche se mi sa che così ho fatto anche l'altra volta nella spezzo la maledizione, eh, vabbè. Vediamo. Forse devo andare a vedere anche sotto.
Eh, mi sa, dovevo andare sotto a cercare il cucchiaio che non era rotto, non era... Searching for the right spoon for years, right? The curses can be tricky. The key to this one just might be that you can't eat with your own spoon. That's why we've swapped. Funzionerà. Mi sa che non ha funzionato. Eh no, manco stavolta riesco a salvare chiunque sia. piace verso coso ma è andata Un po' mi dispiace, volevo provare a salvare chiunque fosse, ma...
Darkness anche stavolta ma quindi com'è l'enigma mi sa so che anche l'altra volta ho fatto questa cosa ma forse devo trovare o un altro cucchiaio bisogna continuare a cercare eh, ormai salvavo subito prima di nascondermi potevo ricaricare però ripete tutto dov'è Regis? acqua sopra Tasty. 
And you're starting to scare me. Le trasportate, poi Geralt pare che sta levitando. Abbiamo arrivato. La sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. You lead. Scurvers. Must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. Cosa sono i Scarborough? Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now. To open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against the guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire. Out. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world has been opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last. Cliffs are carved into the rock. Covered with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of uh, what you would call tribes. Dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us all where we came from. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Cells. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and Dedlaus. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tedet. Those who went east, beyond the Blue Mountain. Whose is this cliff? Amarun. They ventured beyond the sea. Chora un po' di roba che posso andare. Ma sta armatura di te sciamma cosa? Io Regis eh, perché sta armatura mia adesso comincio a piare un bel po' di danno Magari questa, questa uccidere nemici tra l'altro dice ripristina punti vita Ti facciamo così No, non 
non posso, eh, vabbè poi vado se non lasciarla dai da Perché sennò più veramente un botto di danni per ora in sto DLC Da chiunque Avrei fatto l'armatura del drago quella superiore Sì, del drago del lupo ma È un casino Humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those, those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock, live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time, deny it, but i can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. Send them spread most effectively. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch it safe more quickly. But I think how these tunnels got here sent shivers. They use the natural order of things. The place reeked of death in it. Attracted necrophages. Three done, one left. I think this will work. I see. Fammi salvare. Eight set, but now I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I should be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. say when you can't take it anymore. And what did you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Beh dai, l'esplosione di cosa mi ha fatto così poco danno, quindi... Cazzo sei tu? Un felder? Cos'è un felder? Mo? È pieno di vampiri qua, sto posto. Oh, 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 che non ho più la... quella merda là.
Out of the forest for more. Get you out of here. The concoction. Probabilmente con l'armatura del lupo sarei crepato male. Resonance, è ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Gentlemen was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, fails to realize he was your friend. Nessuno si accorge di niente. Then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detla? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? Ah, questa era la terza vittima. Hmm. 
Sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seeing as Stedloff had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury, remorse, cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Dedlau first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Dedlauf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Quanto ne posso? Non potrò imparare un cazzo. Ah beh, però ne manca solo uno di mutagine. Ha ah, tre punti abilità, vabbè poi lo potrò imparare la prossima allora. Mi serve un fabbro tra l'altro. Io credo di essere arrivato una o due questa avanti, ero arrivato a quella dove dovevi attaccare il castello, che mi sa fra due o tre. però c'è il viaggio rapido proprio di fianco quindi ci metto di meno the sun bakes our pipes. We've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. 
A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can jack him all you like. After we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Now, let's not do anything bad. We'll break your legs! Circle him! Circle him! Just give him to help scoplores and cheats. Sì, però non è che uno può finire ogni volta e mezzo. Eh, vabbè, però. Porca puttana. Cioè, è eh, popò, in mezzo e eh, rimbalzavo. Cazzo, che brutti combattimenti a mani nude in sto gioco. Fanno proprio merda. Ah, sì. Rompono il cazzo, guarda. Facciamo che li, amma li faccio ammazzare. Oh, così imparate ad avermi battuto. Oh, così imparate a piarmi a cazzotti. Merde. Eh, finivo in mezzo, tiravo un cazzotto, ne prendevo 27. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stunt. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock, not from around here. A rival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? You gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my pension. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Vediamo se 300 gli vanno bene, va. Oh. Oh bimbo de merda! Facciamo che ti... Guarda, va a fangulo. cosa però uso cosa uso axi e ti fotti bimbo del cazzo what's the meaning of this i'm in power i'm and come on you're listen what but in the so that one of you um what x hmm. i should no way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know for free. 
non è proprio onorevole per come ho rollato finora, però 500 nel culo se li infila. Cioè, se è stato pure inutile, 500 per non sai manco. E voleva pure 500, ma fortuna che ho usato Axi senza sensi di colpa ogni momento. Oh, Provava a incularmi a me, va. Axi è un approccio giusto, mi sa. Che sulla fa il furbo? Ah, ma io sono morto da prima ancora dai cazzottoni. Tu guarda un po'. Dovevo lasciarlo ai tizi, gli devo dire, guarda, mi deve dire solo una cosa e poi potete scogliarlo tranquillamente. Quello era ruolare perfettamente. Non budge, gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on the drum and holler, deck laugh, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. È un po' inquietante. So this is his nest. 
need to look around. Attic, let's go. Detlaf van der Heretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renawed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlav killed not of his own accord, but blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure of us. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day. Showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off. Though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Even if Renawed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. That ran away. I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Nice little trinket. Tools were used recently. Tedloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really? Now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Look, slips of paper. Name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de La Croix. Detlaf's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one of the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. Actually, it is. Detlaf's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed, render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. 
I shall convince him to stay his hand, assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Ooh. I think he'll listen. He will. Not a wit with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Dobra, patrz, Sultra Quest. Da quanto livelli al volo qua in adesso quelle principali. Cos'è questo? No, devo per forza usare quelle della mutazione che ho. Eh, vabbè. Che le ho finite tra l'altro, un po' tra l'altro le cose là, eh. Quindi... Trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? The case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast a powerful vampire. Huh. Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? <coughs> Guarda, come se come Regis col sole si è bruciato, ve? Eh? Anche Detla. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And back then? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Bakhtuan drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a Batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guards men in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Mi sa che la bestia senza il cervello se tu mi sembri, però. The Camaras catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Che tu non usi, gli direi. They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. 
Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine, or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estes. Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The west bank of the Sala too. That's right. In barrels of Eau Claire Oak. Hugh de Burgundy. Pretty high. See a probe. It's simple. Sala Real. The 1269 vintage. That's. That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Ravello. Especially and exclusively for the Ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and conceal it. Then we will be off. Storti, sti cavalli. This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure, but he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Ha! 
Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Who? Stay back, your grace. We shall see to this. Back, you beast! Be gone! Porca puttana però che attacchi del cazzo Sì, ma guarda, cioè, muri invisibili in mezzo a nulla ogni tanto, praticamente, ci sono. Sono il migliore di tutti, un maestro di e per anni. problema. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonrial stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant, could be the steward, could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when. Whoa there, we're on an empty stomach. <laughs> Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. Mm. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Mm -hmm. This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. And who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, Witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about saint Real? I am at your service. The saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Sonreal. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally. Workers, again, The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have... Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a... Your Grace, how am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen, I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is the Sonreal stored? 
In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. We shall wait here, Master What if Fabrizio is blackmailing the vampire? Mi sembra più un coglione che. But I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabrizio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravelli. Only then did he come into his own. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Ervalus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. Good, good taste. Test. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous. Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Ah, yes. That's Got Pamino over here. Sorry. Non è questo. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Oh, Sarah. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite. Ah, cool. Right here, 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are in there. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. 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 This one's full too. Like all the barrels are full, dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sandria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready, we can start. Ready. Step aside. of spice. The stink and the feeling will find something awry. Ma tutti uno per uno. Va, quello l'ultimo perché danno, speriamo non sarà mai il primo che ho detto proviamo. Ah, l'ho beccato il secondo try, dai. This is not wine. 
This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Your Grace? How uh, uh... Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But Your Grace, uh, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I, I, I admit it. I, I, I sold a barrel of Sorial. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered was... <laughs> Non mi ricordo come fa tutto se questo usciamo. I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients... This man's name... He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintri in Aristocrat at court. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and... Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Now all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sintry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. Once I agree with you, we will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal.
him. Troppo casino. Caputana, cioè, ma ha shottato così a me che non ero manco appiccicato, dai, ma che bastardata, ma che... Cioè, io mi voglio chiudere e cominciamo con le morti a muzzo. Che puttanata, porco il cazzo, però... Cioè, ne era rimasto praticamente uno una volta, anzi, forse pure meno. Lui doveva parlare, credo che non parlerà più però. A mo me ne vado via il più lontano possibile. Eh, e quindi? Ma c'è un altro vivo? Non dirmi che amo che si è buggata, dai, porco il cazzo, no, eh? Qua si è bug... Sì, vabbè, ma una volta muoio, una volta si bugga, non è che si è rotto mo proprio, che cazzo, però... Cioè, uno come si fa a non nervosi? Io ci provo, però, eh, che cazzo, devo disinstallare e finire dove avevo finito l'altra volta? Cioè, si è buggato, mo. Cioè, prima sono morto all'ultimo, mo si è buggato, mo che li ho fatti tutti. Però tutti si bug la prima volta non me li ricordo, eh, di quelli rompi gioco, eh, non era così infame. Guarda, guarda, si è buggatissimo il suo combattimento però, eh. Vabbè, lui col sanguinamento muore tanto in teoria. Oh, essere eh, buggato. Però che cazzo, eh, proprio a farmi perdere il tempo così. Wait for my signal. That was the plan, but great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Non need to like each other. Just gotta do our jobs. 
If that's how you wish to treat it. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. She awaits nearby. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand. Come on, Casca, Drew, to push him to the collo, eh? Dio, Ducato. We must ask him some questions. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Al cielo perché è così buggato in studio il C. Wait. He doesn't wish to. Cioè con la patch PS5 comunque hanno rotto un sacco di cose con la patch next gen perché comunque anche se si bug che sto beccando io ho letto molti sulla versione PC ci sono con la patch l'ultima. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope, kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. Rope? Live bait, great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No, Greg, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I'll talk. Who hired you? He... he'll kill me! Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Sintrian? That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this cape. That's what they said, that we were working for the Sintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Sintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. No, con ti punti esperienza mi spara così di continuo. Sto del si buono. Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Sintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's noses. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Still don't know this Sintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Sintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Then why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Sintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, 
Not one man. Bandits attacked us. Not a small force, either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cynthian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, Your Grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event gonna be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Per la sua gioia proprio dover si vestire elegante e la mia che devo cambiare equipaggiamento anche. Allora la faccio domani, vado giusto visto che devo comprare sta roba. Andrei a depositare perché sennò mi ritrovo pieno di peso veramente. domani di riuscire a finirlo sto io il secchio delle witcher perché sto cominciando un po' a essere stufo devo dire quello come dicevo all'inizio cioè bello quanto vuoi però dopo tre volte che lo gioco è perché non ho mai finito il DLC dai a suo giro ci sta tutto però arriva una certa che diventa pesantino Quel deposito o se no dove che posso appoggiare l'armatura un'altra rastrelliera per armi Ma no, sulla rastrelliera... Ma scusa, eh. Eh, sì. Mm. Oh, ma si ragiona.
mi sa che dopo questa quest io l'ho arrivato comunque quindi ci sta a continuare tutto domani comunque ciao a tutti buona serata e ci rivediamo domani mattina eh, bella <ride>